Hey everyone! Welcome to episode 8 of my Fairy Core Let's Play. Today I'm gearing up for an upcoming boss fight, decorating my mushroom village, and building a special contraption. So stay tuned! Alright, I have a lot to do this episode, but I'm gonna make some food first because I, you know, I'm getting a little bit tired of eating mushroom stew and bread, so instead I'm going to eat bread with eggs. <laughs> so I wanted to make these egg sandwiches, which means we're gonna have to cook a little bit of bread. Well, not cook, but <laughs> make some. And we will have to cook these eggs. So let's go put this on the st- Oh, that- No, that's not- <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Um, hello, little chicken. Um, it looks like you're inside of the oven. <laughs> um, but I'm going to just make myself some eggs while the sun is setting. And- Oh yeah, so while the eggs are cooking, let me show you guys what I added to the mushroom village. So before I uploaded my last episode- um, I made this. It's like a little overhang. Kind of like what we have at the front of our little forest. And I put all my girls outside just so they can pose for the thumbnail. And they look so adorable. It's such a cute little cozy place. And I made this extra house over here for, um, Peach- for Peachy Pancake. So this is where she's gonna live. And I really need to decorate these houses. So I think I'm gonna do that this episode, but I also have a lot of other things that I wanted to do. So one of them is going to be, um, I want to make an airship, which is a really cool, like, little contraption you can make from this mod, Immersive Aircraft. So I wanted to make this airship, and as you can see, there's a lot of things here. So let's see if we can even do it, because I don't know if I have all the materials, but I think we can try. But let's go ahead and make ourselves some bread, or not bread, egg sandwiches. Delicious. Okay, let's see how much this gives us. Okay, it's pretty filling. I'll just have this as my little dinner and we can go to sleep. Um, let me pick up these eggs. Okay, so I hope you guys are having a good day. Today is, um, it's Wednesday and it's getting pretty cold. It got really hot earlier. Oh yeah, I have a new cat, but hold on, let me just finish my thought here. So I got pretty hot earlier and I was just like suffering in my room, but now it's cooling down again so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm just so excited for the winter. Um, but anyway, so while I was doing my little thing <laughs> off camera, building the mushroom village, I went out and I found this cat at a village and look how cute she is! So I actually wanted to name her something that I saw recommended in one of the other episodes and someone said um, if I get another cat I should name her Luna. So I'm gonna name her Luna because it literally rhymes with Yuna. So I'm gonna make her a color tag and we can have little sister kitties. Luna and Yuna, I think that's the cutest thing ever. Um, I love cats so much. <laughs> so I definitely want to eventually get all of the um, the cat types in this game and maybe make a little cat village or something. I don't know, that'd be so adorable. Um, let's see if I have any chains. I do. Okay, I'm going to just take one. And I also need to clear my inventory. And yeah, I, I have some other things I want to do today. One of them is also I wanted to gear up a little bit for... Hold on. Luna, there we go. I can't multitask. I wanted to gear up a little bit for the Twilight Forest because I really want to fight the Naga soon. Um, so I want to get some better armor and maybe we have to make an enchanting table. I I, I would rather be a little over prepared. So I think I'm going to just spend a little bit of time gearing up and I want to probably trade with the shroom dealers and try to get some diamonds from them. So we can go to the cave near the strawberry uh what's it called strawberry fields and grow some mushrooms because i did test it out and it did work inside the cave um so i just need to bring some mushrooms dirt and bone meal and we can try to get some diamonds um so i i know it's kind of ironic because i'm not even going caving i'm just growing mushrooms inside of a cave but dude the caves are just terrifying i am scared um I, when I went to try it out in that place, I almost died, so, you know, hold on, let me put this away. Where do the seeds go? I'm just gonna put it here. Yeah, so I almost- dude, it's just- I, I'm really scared of caving. <laughs> it's a very scary game, I don't like it. Um, but anyway, I think I can make another egg sandwich, so I'm gonna make some. Okay, there we go, we have a little bit of extra food with us today. I need to organize all of these chests now that we have so much storage in our kitchen. And by the way, I just, I love this kitchen. It's barely even finished. Like, I want to add more to it, obviously, but I think this is just the cutest little thing. Like, imagine if this was a real kitchen. I would literally love it so much. Like, dude. <laughs> anyway, let's see. So, 
Uh, wait, let me put this mud in a way. I did kill a bit of sheep earlier because they were kind of lagging me, so I decided to get rid of some of them because uh, we don't need any wool for now. So let's go try to make this airship first of all because I'm really excited. I want to use this to get around faster when we're traveling. Okay, so we're going to need carpet and string, which I definitely think we have. Um, let's go in here. Luckily, we have a lot of wool now, so it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, here we go. We have some carpet over here, too. And I can use this cobwebs. Probably get some string from that. Yep. I don't even know how I got these cobwebs, <laughs> but okay. Um, probably from, like, a chest. I think, actually, the mushroom houses have cobwebs. I, I might be wrong, though. Alright, so let's go- oh, wait, no, I need more carpet. Wait, what does that make? Rope. Oh, cool. Well, I do not need any rope for now. Let's make some carpet. There we go. Now we can make- Oh, three sails, right? Is that what we need? No, we need six. Okay, why did I... <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we need more string, and I think that was all of it. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, I could make another one, but we're still going to be short. Um, Here, let me see if I can find some more cobwebs, because if I'm not mistaken, there should be some in the villages. Like, I mean the mushroom houses. But... Um, you know, since I made these beds for all of my mushroom girls to respawn in, I'm gonna let Spook chill out over here and just protect them. And I'm gonna take Dakaria with me. And I really- I just miss, like, taking my mushroom girls with me to just chill, you know? Just so we can hang out and bond together. You remember what I said about Dakaria the first? I was like, let me go take Dakaria with me so I can bond with her. And then she died. So, you know what? Where is she? Hi! If, Di if Dicaria Jr. dies, at least she'll respawn. Oh, look! Tons of cobwebs! That's the only thing I didn't grab. Good. Now I need it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take that. So that's 16. Um, oh, there's even more here. Check this out. Okay, I'm gonna- how much does this give you? Is it just one string per cobweb? I think it is. Okay, so maybe that's enough. I'm gonna check if there's any more over here. Yep, there's some up on the roof. Maybe there's some in the chest, too. That's so convenient. I love these mushroom houses. They have everything. They have food, iron, tools, um, milk buckets, which I needed earlier, too. Wow, there's a string and even- what's it called? There's mushroom stew, and you can even get diamonds from these guys. I mean, even arrows, which I need for my bow. Which, by the way, my bow broke, so I probably should make some more. I, I need to make another bow. Okay. So, let's check this one. Ooh, mushrooms. Don't mind if I do. And these candles will be cute to take home, but I'm gonna just leave them for now. Alright, so let's go break these cobwebs. We have 54? Holy crap, dude. I was not expecting to get that many. Alright, um, I'm gonna just mine these all really quick, and I will be right back. Alright, I mined all the cobwebs. I think I saw a mandragora over here. Hello? Where did she go? I swear I saw one. Oh wait, what is that? It's a mandragora, isn't it? What the heck? <gasps> tiny! Tiny little thing! Oh my god, what is that? Why are you so small? This looks like a dryad. Oh my god. I need it. Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm kidnapping another girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so cute. Why is she so small? I need to look this up. Hold on. I love checking my grimoire. It feels like I'm a witch or something. Um, okay, so it's probably a peaceful mob. So let's see. What is that thing? Nope, that's definitely not it. Ooh, what? <gasps> Why does this look like me? <laughs> um, Ender Dragon Girl? Oh my god, that's so cute. But what is that little tiny girl? It doesn't seem like it's a dryad. Because she's super small. And she doesn't have a flower in her hair. I have no idea what that is. What are you? Tiny little dryad girl looking thing. Um... I'm taking you into my house. Dicaria, let's go. You have a new friend. <laughs> um, I I know this is really like awful to just kidnap random people, but it's Minecraft and I can do what I want. So, you know, it's kind of like, isn't aren't fairies like the people that kidnap 
like kids or something. I know that's, <laughs> I'm not even a fairy, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just, she's so cute and small. Like, she's even tinier than the mushroom girls. That's unbelievable. It's so, so small. Oh, I really need to figure out what she is, though. Maybe she is just a dryad, but a really tiny one. I didn't, wow, I, don't, I have no idea. I'm very baffled right now. Okay, she's gonna chill in here. All right, um, wait, can she escape? Because I can't sit her down. Here, I'm just going to tie her up. <laughs> that sounds wrong. I'm not going to tie her up. I'm just going to let her s stay in my house for now. Um, if I if I manage to figure out what she is, I'm going to probably make her a house so she can, like, chill. Because she's so cute. Like, I literally want her to be my neighbor or, like, my little friend. Um, okay, so the sun is setting already. I, I feel like I just slept, but um, I did get all my string. So why am I going in the mushroom village? Oh, yeah. Sheep is on the loose. I'm, I don't even care. I'm just gonna let it live, but um, let's make the rest of the sails And then we got to see what else we got to make. It's kind of fun though. It's like a we're making a machine right now So let me make a little bit more carpet Hopefully this is enough Looks like it is. Yeah, okay three So now we have the sails. What else do we need? We need holes, which is with logs and iron ingots. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go sleep really quick. Wow, the sunset is super <laughs> vibrant today. Okay, I really need to remember to like <laughs> stay on task. I feel like I get so distracted with these mods. There's just so much to do and just like random things pop up like this tiny little dryad girl and then I need to kidnap her like, oh, such a distraction. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, so I want to make the airship first because then we can use the airship to travel to the strawberry fields. That's going to be really fun. Okay, so we're going to need logs and I don't have any, do I? No, let's go get some. I, I, of course, have some in the storage because I chopped down a bunch of trees and someone said that I should try to change my settings so that um, I have to sneak uh, to use the, like, log chopping thing. So I wonder if that is a setting because I actually do really want to change that. Okay, I might have to change that in the config settings because I don't see it in the keybinds, but that's okay. So we can just try to avoid making that mistake again for now. All right, so how many did I need? Three or two? We need two. Okay, and lastly, we need the engine. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna need pistons and a blast furnace. Oh god. And a boiler. Okay, copper and a furnace. So let's make the... Let's make the boiler first. I'm gonna put this away in my backpack. Put this wheat here. And my grimoire in here. Put my thing in there. I just need some more inventory space because, like... My goodness. Okay. Here, give me some. <laughs> um, okay, so let me combine these shears, actually. I'm just trying to get some more inventory space. Um, all right, so we need to make a boiler with copper and what was it? A furnace? Okay, should be doable. So we have copper. We can make a furnace with cobblestone. We need more cobblestone. Oh my goodness. Maybe when we're inside the cave, I can mine some. I'm really scared, though, because, like, I don't want to die. Um, okay, so we have the boiler. Now we need pistons. Okay, we need cobblestone, redstone, and planks. I think we have some redstone in here. So, I think it was like this. I like never make pistons. Okay, no. What, what was it? God damn it. Oh, wait. No, I did it completely wrong. What the heck? Um, I think it's like this. Yay! Awesome. So now we need another one. There we go. And lastly, I think we need a blast furnace. Okay, blast furnace. Oh, which I don't even know how to make. Oh god. Oh, smooth stone. No. All right, we got to cook some stone. Dude, I had to go freaking I need to get more stone. I have none. Dude, <laughs> this is so sad. I have been neglecting the entire mining aspect of this game because I'm really scared of the caves. I've already said that, but you guys you guys know it's true. Our last time in the caves was a little bit terrifying. Um, I'm gonna try to chop this down. Oh, no! Oh wait, did it work? What the heck? Wait, what? Why did- why are- the, what? <laughs> Hold on, let me make another axe. I kind of want to get rid of this tree because it's a little bit annoying. Oh, there we go. 
All right. Thank goodness that the uh, the mod works with this Twilight Forest trees. Um, okay, we even got some the fireflies. <gasps> Hello, dryad. See, I don't think that that tiny girl was a dryad because she doesn't have a flower in her hair. And I think all the dryads have flowers in their hair. But anyway, there's a little cave over here. And I did go inside here to actually duplicate some moss. So you might be able to see that here. And then I had to run for my life from a freaking, like, armored zombie. <laughs> it was a whole thing, but... Um, let me just get some stone from here. I I don't know if this video will be up before or after my live stream, but I'm going to be doing a live stream this Friday. And actually, I think I will probably post this after the live stream. So um, yeah, but I'm really excited because I made this little bingo card and I got the idea from my friend Arika slash Alter slash Starseeker. So thank you so much for the amazing suggestion. I thought that it would be such a cute idea to do a little bingo because bingo is just a game that everyone can play from their own homes you know like you just see you see the activities on the bingo and then you can you can join and i just yeah it's gonna be super fun um all right so let's see how much should we get 53 that should be enough for now i definitely need to just like probably spend a few minutes maybe like 20 minutes mining at some point but obviously off camera because that's gonna be so boring all right so we're still in the springtime i wonder if summer is gonna come soon so we can grow some sugarcane because I, I think sugarcane grows in, in the summer. I need to also organize this chest and put everything away. I have some strawberry milk in there, which I got while I was at the strawberry fields. All right, so now we got to cook some of this into smooth stone. So we're going to need three smooth stones, right, for the blast furnace. So I think we just cook these. All right, so while that's cooking, I'm going to put away some stuff from my inventory. Um, We could use this twilight oak wood, right? Ooh, ooh, this is like a nice color. It's like spruce wood. A little bit darker though. It's pretty. <gasps> is it raining? Ooh. I feel like it's been a while since it rained. Actually, I think it was just because it was snowing last time. I don't know about you guys, but I think the rain is so relaxing. Especially in Minecraft, I just, uh, it's so peaceful to listen to. The only thing is it gets a little bit dark with these shaders. So that's like the- oh! Oh, it's thundering! Oh god. Okay. Um... In this case, should I sleep? Because I don't want to deal with mobs. Damn it! I thought it was going to be just rain. That would have been really nice. Where's my dryad? Uh-oh. Where did she go? Her lead is still here. Uh-oh. Don't tell me she's gone. Where did she go? <gasps> No, what happened to her? Oh my god, no, don't tell me. Why is her lead still here? <gasps> what? I think she ran away. Dude, what even was that thing though? I'm so confused. Oh man, and my lead is gone. What the heck? Wait, what the heck? What? I'm so confused. What is that? Why why does it say that? Um, hold on. Let me sleep. What the heck? Why does it say Spriggan? What? Hello? What? I'm so confused right now. What? Is this like a... Oh, it's when I... When I... When I look at wood. I'm so confused. Why does it do that? <sighs> Damn. I can't figure out what the... Uh, what that little girl girl creature was. I looked through the grimoire, but I couldn't- I couldn't find her. I'm actually so sad. I really want to know what she is. Man. I'm sad that she ran away and took my freaking lead with her. And it's like, it's so- there's just so much stuff going on here. I can't even- can't even see her. It's gonna be really hard to find her. Okay, I guess I just have to accept the loss. Alright, so what were we doing? I got totally distracted. 
Um, I think we were waiting for the smooth stone to smelt. We gotta make it into actual smooth stone now. And what is going- What is with the wood? Stop that! I, I don't- I don't care about the freaking spriggan, dude. I know what the spriggan is. Jesus Christ. Okay. So we're making an airship. Air snip. Airship. There we go. So we need a blast furnace and then some uh, cobblestone and that should be it. Alright, come on. I'm so excited. I think we need to fuel it with coal. So we're gonna need to get some coal. Yay! Alright, so now we gotta make a blast furnace. Okay, so we need iron and a furnace. Oh my goodness. So I believe it's like this. Yay! Okay, and now we could be making an engine. And what are we missing? Oh yeah, everything. <laughs> Get this. Oh, sorry. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Yes, we made an airship. Okay, so uh, before we actually use it, I have an idea. I want to see if I can use the tower as like a launch pad. Um, but before we go to the tower, I wanted to do something. Um, because someone got gave me this really cool idea to put um, moss on the like ceiling of the tower and grow like glow berries from it and stuff like that so i'm gonna try to do that i don't have any glow berries though so we're gonna have to find some all right so uh we need bone meal actually so let me get some of that we have a lot though from the uh the bone blocks okay so let's go to the tower i'm gonna have um dicaria follow me but she's not going to come with me. I don't think she can sit inside the uh, tower with me. I really hope we come across one of those little tiny girls again. Because she was so cute. So, so cute, dude. Next time, I might have to trap her in a hole or something and give her a name tag. So she doesn't despawn. Or maybe, like, put her in a boat or something. I don't really know. Alright, so. We haven't been here in a while. It's been, like, a few episodes since we, uh, done anything in here and it's a work in progress still I just haven't had the time to really work on it but yeah this room um oh wait did I cover it oh I did but hold on maybe we can make like a a ladder um let's see I can make some sticks okay can I place it on the no I can't okay let me replace this with the uh we'll just put cobblestone we can make a ladder up here. Why is this taking so long? Why is this taking so long? What the heck? What? 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 <laughs> Why did that seem like it was stone? That is so bizarre. Okay, anyway. Alright, so we have this little room in here. So, um, they said to put, like, moss... And, wait, how do I bone meal this? You can't bone meal that for some reason. So maybe I just have to cover the entire thing in moss. Oop. This can't be bone mealed. Okay, so, if we do like this, well, you know, we might have to come here and manually, like, add vines and stuff but okay that didn't really work out the way I expected it to but I guess it's okay we'll just put this here for now and we can work on that later that's not even the point um, of why we're here so I was thinking if we like knock down this and use this kind of as like a exit pad thing for the uh, the airship okay Dakaria you have to stay here so you're safe and let's see. All right. Um, kind of feel like I need to fix this now, because it looks a little weird. Uh, you know, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Maybe we will put this here. So this is gonna be our launch pad. So let's go place down our airship. Oh, it's so cute! Oh my god, it's like smaller than I imagined, but. It has like such a cute little balloon. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I totally forgot to mention. If you see on my backpack, it's a sheep. So we finally sheared enough sheep. I didn't even realize. Um, but it happened 
uh, while I was not recording. So we got the sheep plushie. Hooray! We shared so many sheep. So let's see, what did we do here? Ooh, some upcoming features, upgrade slots, die. <gasps> Banner! Wait, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. How do I get out? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, whoa. Um, decorate, let's go. I'm gonna decorate it. I was actually just about to say, I wish there was a way to change the color of the balloon, but it seems like there is. So I think we need a banner. So I can make a banner. We have a lot of wool, and I can also dye, I guess, the balloon. I would assume that's what we were dying. So I'm gonna give it a purple balloon and maybe like a pink pink banner because we do have pink sheep. So I'm gonna shear some and let's get a customized little airship and then I need to put some fuel inside. And it also looked like it had it had a uh, like storage slots, which is pretty awesome. Alright, so I think we probably have extra pink wool inside the inside of our storage. Hopefully. Yay, we do! Okay, so I can make a banner. There we go. I'm gonna put these ladders away. And the bone meal, because that totally didn't work. That was such a fail. It's okay, we'll figure it out. Um, and then I'm gonna get some purple dye. Yay! So I probably only need one. And there were also like upgrade slots, which is... I wonder what that is. Aircraft upgrade. Ooh! Wait, this is 20, negative 20% fuel requirement. Sturdy pipes, engine power. Ooh, dude. Wait, we can totally make this like right right now. Um, enhanced propeller, eco engine. Ooh, nether engine. Ooh, there's a lot of upgrades here. Whole reinforcement. Oh, there's a durability. Oh, God. Um, hmm. Let's do the industrial gears. So we need a lever, copper, and iron. Luckily, I got some copper now. Um, so a lever, I think, is like this. Let's make this. And the... Hmm. The sturdy pipe. So we need... Okay, we can make that. There we go. We should probably get some more copper since we're using up a lot of it. All right. I think that is all. So I'm gonna get a little bit of extra food. Thank you so much, Daikaria. Um, Daikaria, you know what? Maybe she should she should bleh, she should stay in the village. Um, so she doesn't, I don't know, get burned by the uh, the exhaust pipes or something. So let's just put her here, so she can chill with her friends. And I'm gonna go off on a little expedition. And the sun is setting, but we do have a sleeping bag. So while we're up there, we can sleep. Oh, I'm so excited. I've never made this before. I have tried it out in creative and it was pretty awesome, but I'm really happy that I actually managed to make it like legit. So pretty freaking awesome. And speaking of creative, I do try to test out some of the things in creative with my fairy core mod pack just so I can learn like how to do certain things. And by creative, I mean like on another world, not this world, <laughs> like on a test, on a test world. Um, but yeah, um, so some of you have left me some advice on how I can um, summon the Fae. So I'm going to try to do that while, you know, in the future. So we need like a summoning scroll from a specific court. And I need to assign myself to a specific court. So that's going to be interesting. I have no idea how to do that, but <laughs> I'll figure it out. Okay, let's see if this worked. <gasps> oh my god, that is so cute. It looks like it has a tail. That's really adorable. But we have a freaking- oh, also it's like completely backwards. I thought the pink was going to be on this little tail thing and the purple was going to be on the balloon. So it's a little bit, um, not what, not what I was expecting, but you know, it's okay. So how do I- how do I get out of here? It's like- okay, there we go. That's so weird. I don't know how to, uh, trigger that. So let's go sleep. Okay, it's not bedtime yet. Hurry up! Oh, there we go. Okay, awesome! And now I can put this away. And put this away too. I just want my inventory to be nice and organized. Alright, so we have our airship. And I'm going to turn on my journey map for this. So we can know where we're going. Alright, so we need to put some fuel in here. So where does the fuel go in here? <gasps> Ooh, this is so exciting! Okay, let's see. How do we... Okay, so it's going to be like a really, really slow startup, I suppose. Let's Let's try to do this. Come on. You can do it. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh, there we go. 
We had to press- I had to press space. Dude, we're freaking flying right now. This is insane. Oh my god, look at that. This is so cute. Well, it's not cute. It's awesome, but I love it. Whee! <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun right now. <laughs> this is incredible. This is so freaking cool. I wish this was in vanilla Minecraft. I would be having so much fun with this in vanilla because I never use my elytra even if, even though I have it in my survival world. I just do not enjoy using the elytra because it's just too fast. But this this is like nice and leisurely and it's super fun. You have to like build it. And look, you can see Stefan over there. Hello, Stefan! <laughs> oh my god, this is actually so cool. Okay, so now we can be safe up in the sky and we can traverse to the strawberry fields and look at all the snow that's over here still. So hopefully now that we're in the chunks, it's going to start melting. And I mean, I do see the snow melting, but it's taking a little bit of a while. Wow, it's this is just amazing. Like, holy crap. <laughs> if you guys are playing on the fairy corn mod pack, you have to make this thing. Um, there is also some other airships. There's like faster ones. But this is, I think, probably the easiest one for me to make at the moment. But dude, this is just... Ah, oh, I can't get over how cool this is! And look, I'm getting a little speed effect now that I'm in the forest. From my origin. Okay, so we're already here. So how do I... How do I go down? Um... That is quite the question. Um... I don't know. Do I press shift? Oh yeah, there we go. So you have to press shift to go down. At least that didn't, like, launch me off of the freaking airship, because that would be really bad. Okay, we landed! How do we get out? Get me out of here! Out! Oh, there we go. Okay, I have no idea what triggers the out. <laughs> the how to get out, but... Okay, so we, we parked our airship. Oh my god, this is just... Ah, this is so cool! I love this game! Okay, um, let's go to the cave. Oh, wait. I didn't bring my freaking bone meal. Um, okay, wow, that is super awkward. You know what? I have a stack at home. I'm gonna give myself a stack and then I'm gonna just I'm gonna delete it once I uh, go back home. Cause that that's just silly. Okay, so I gave myself a stack of bone meal. So once we're home, don't worry, I will delete it. Cause I, I do not want to go all the way back. That is that is a stupid mistake, but it's okay. Um why am I like lagging on the on the grass? What the heck? What is up with that? Hey! What's up with that? Did you guys- what? Why am I lagging like that? That's so weird. Okay, so now we can grab our mushrooms and we can grow some. So we need to grow it on wood. I'm gonna try to do it here so I don't have to go down into the cave. Um, because that's where all the bad monsters are. So maybe we can try it like right here. Where we're kind of safe. I feel more safe like here. Let's see if it works. Yay! Oh my gosh, awesome! This is a really good strategy. This is like the perfect cave to grow mushrooms in because it's so spacious. And actually, what I did notice was there's more to this cave than we actually saw last time we were exploring. So let me see if I can show you guys. Oh, what the heck? Give me up! So look, there's this place, which I completely missed last time. So that's where we were. And I didn't even see that there was like a whole other section here. Look at that scary little chest thing. That is, ugh, I don't like that. I don't like that it's moving like that. We're gonna not go there right now because I am a little bit terrified. There were a lot of monsters over there. And I think the journey map is showing the monsters with the red little icons. Not really sure actually. I should probably mark this place on the, on the mini map though, like as a waypoint. I mean, I know where to go, so maybe not. I guess it's not a big deal. Alright, so I'm gonna probably just spend a little bit of time here duplicating mushrooms, and I will be right back. Alright, so I collected a stack in 22, which I think that's gonna be enough for now, because this is a little bit boring. Alright, so let's see how much this can give us. There should be some mushroom people, like, here, because there's a mushroom house nearby, so let's see. I want to try to trade with either the red poisonous guy or the white guys. I don't, I don't remember what they're called, um, but I I don't know if the purple ones give you um, diamonds. I've never, I, you know, maybe I have. Honestly, I don't really remember, um, but you know what I did get from the purple ones? I think this was off camera, but I got some of these. Deceiver's Heart, which this is actually what I thought the, dis, um, what's it called? 
what I thought the amethyst deceiver was. So actually the ones that give you like a really big health buff is the deceiver's heart. So that's pretty awesome that now we have some. So if we're ever doing something really dangerous, probably when we're going to the to fight the Naga, um, I'm going to use those hearts in case I die. Or in case I'm close to death. Um, so hopefully we do that before I die, or else it wouldn't work. So yeah, I, I suppose it's gonna be kind of like a uh what's it called? Like a totem of undying, but before. Also, why am I glitching on the freaking why like when I'm going down? That's so weird. I wonder if it's because I was on the airship. Alright, so is there any uh, mushroom people here? Oh, hello. Um, please give me diamonds. <laughs> Please give me- Yay! He gave me diamonds! Oh, thank you! Thank you. He gave me two diamonds and a slime ball. And some food. Thank you very much, sir. I'm just gonna spend all of these. I'm gonna save just, like, two mushrooms for myself so I can duplicate them again. Oh, flowers! Oh, yay! More diamonds! Okay. So we have one. And we got four diamonds. Holy crap, we got so many flowers. Um, let me put these away. And I... Okay, I'm never using these bombs again because I killed myself with them and that was really not cool. So, I'm retiring those bombs, but I will be using the Deceiver's Hearts. And the smoke bombs aren't horrible, like they don't really- I don't think they really do much. Except for cause lag, <laughs> but you know, it's okay. So now that we've done our mushroom mis mission, so we have only four extra diamonds, which, you know, it's okay. For literally trading them for mushrooms, I think it's pretty decent. But what I want to do is make an enchanting table. And I don't really have that many books. So what I can try to do is see if this village has any uh, bookshelves. Because we do have some in our library at home. But that might not be enough. So I obviously want to make a proper enchanting table like room or some sort of fancy little thing but for now we can try to just make a really simple one to get our gear enchanted um oh hello what the heck oh no 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 i don't have my bow i totally forgot i need to make myself a bow so all right let's just chill here for a second i need a crafting table oh did i bring my string no i didn't okay so we can't even do that right now once we're home i need to make myself a bow okay let's go kill the zombie Get away from me! I wish Spook was here. I should have brought Spook. Okay, let's eat some egg sandwiches. Delicious! Alright, so is there any... Is this a library? I don't think it is. No, okay. Um, I don't really see a library building. Oh look, it's a mushroom girl! And there's a trader llama over here. He's invincible. Or, not invincible, invisible. He's mad. I tried to pickpocket him. I think. <laughs> I don't know if I got anything from that. I'm just gonna kill these guys. They're just spitting at me. Um, what did I get? I don't think I got anything. Whatever. I'm leaving. I don't think there's a library in this village, which is kind of sucky. Alright, so actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go home in the dark. Because- Oh, there's a creeper over there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> because I actually want to see if I can- Oh, it's raining again. I want to see if I can get home safely with just my airship. And, uh, because if I can, that would be really awesome. So I don't have to sleep all the time to escape danger. <laughs> Alright, so. I love that noise of when it's starting up because it literally sounds like a car engine. <laughs> Alright, let's go home. And look, you can see like a little, little fire particle. I didn't even notice that before. So let's go home and hopefully we're going to be safe up in the sky. Whee! This is so awesome! And it's raining. Hopefully it's not it's not thundering because for some reason the thunder in Minecraft is just so ridiculously loud. I always have to like manually... I have to, I have to like adjust the volume of it in my uh, editing because it's so loud and I can't figure out how to turn it down. Like for some reason it's still really loud when I turn the weather sounds down so I don't really know. It's kind of weird. What is that thing? Do you see that? What is that? I think it's a mummy. Oh. Well, I don't really care. <laughs> Let's go home. I'm gonna steal the bookshelves from the village. I don't think I did that yet. I think there's some, there's some still in there. So I'm gonna drop by the village and 
check it out. But let's go to um, let's go see if we can park this thing in the uh, in the tower. You know what? Maybe I can just stop by here really quick. Um, since since it's over here anyway. And let's see. Is this storage? Oh, it actually is. It's so awesome. Okay, get me out. There we go. <laughs> so we still need to work on this village, so we can stop trapping everyone in here. I know this is really not good living conditions, but um, I'm busy, so you know, it's it's a project for the f the future. But ho hello, excuse me, what the heck? Um, hopefully the near future, because I really I really want to make this village into something better for everyone. That was honestly one of my main objectives for this series, is I really wanted to make a village into like a really awesome kingdom. Not, not kingdom, but you know, like a really awesome community. And I'm definitely going to do that, but I'm just- there's so many other things to do. And yeah. So let's go home. I hope Alexander is doing well, even though he was kind of an asshole last time. You know, it's okay. He was grieving, or probably still is. So I'll forgive him for being a meanie. And look, we can see an aerial view of our forest, which is actually really awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. Alright, see, let's go see if we can land inside this tower. This is gonna be <laughs> interesting. Let's see if I'm good enough to do this. So we gotta go down a little bit. Uh, uh. Come on. Oh, yes! Yes! We did it! Let me see if I can turn around. Very slowly. <laughs> Okay, that was a little bit annoying. <laughs> Give me out! Oh. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Give me out! Holy crap! What the heck? Okay, that was that was not good. That was scary. I almost just died. What the heck, man? Um, that was frick, man. Okay, so at least we're okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go home. <laughs> that was so awesome! I love the airship. I'm totally gonna use that next time I go adventuring. Alright, so let's go home and sleep. And then we can... I want to move the books to the tower. Like, all of my little books. Because the tower is gonna be kind of like a library. You know, maybe I should just make the enchanting table inside the tower. That would make sense, right? I feel like it would. So how many diamonds do we have? We have seven diamonds, which we could make another pair of diamond leggings. Um, wow. I really need to get more. And unfortunately, I lost my other diamond leggings from the nether incident. Which sucks so bad! I can't believe that happened. Okay, but yeah, let me get rid of this stack of bone meal that I spawned in. Or I'm gonna trade it out for the stack that I spawned in. So there we go. See? We're all good. Um, alright, let me put this gold away. And we have a bunch of flowers now, oh my goodness. Alright, so let's also make a bow. Oh my god. No! I did it wrong. Why do I always do that? There we go. Okay, now we have a bow. Oh, I can- I should probably enchant it. You know what? I think I'm gonna just make, um, iron leggings. And... Should I make a diamond sword? It's kind of sad because all of the bows here, I can't even make them. Like, I have to find them. I know this one you have to get from, like, an aether dungeon or something, which I really want to know what that does. Alright, well, I guess I can make a diamond sword. I mm, Maybe the better investment is actually the armor. Because I'm not going to be using the sword, really, to fight. So I'm going to make diamond leggings. I know I'm a little bit indecisive right now. I did make uh, iron leggings already, but... I I feel like it's gonna be better if I just make diamond leggings and then try to get a good enchant on my bow. Alright, so we're gonna need to make um, an enchanting table. And do I have any obsidian? I don't think I do. How would I have gotten any? I feel like I did have some. Maybe I don't. Uh, okay, I don't think I do. Okay, so I'm gonna move these books to the um, to the tower and uh, you know what since i don't have obsidian how am i gonna get obsidian i just wasted all my diamonds on my leggings and i don't have a diamond sword i mean a diamond pickaxe what the flip why am i so stupid i should have made a diamond pickaxe i thought i had obsidian that is so bizarre i swear i did 
I might have to double check because I feel like I definitely did have some. But anyway, I'm going to make myself... Let's see if there's any sort of like bookshelf we can make. Alright, so we have the ones from Cluttered. I kind of don't want to make those. We have these, which are kind of cute. But I kind of want to make these. These seem like they're going to be the easiest. So... <gasps> this one's pretty. <gasps> Wait, we can make those. Canopy. We have canopy wood. So I wonder if we can actually store books in that. Let's see. I'm going to try to make a canopy bookshelf. And... Oh. Show. Show. <laughs> Maybe we can put the enchanting table somewhere in this tower. And it'll be like our library um, for all of our books. And of course it'll be very fitting to put the enchanting table in the library. Oh! Ouch. Did not mean to jump. Alright, so... Did I... Did I sleep or... No, it's just... The, the sun is, uh, rising. It's still raining, which is nice. Kinda like the rain, so... It's totally chill. Alright, so... Let's see if I can make these bookshelves. I need to check if I have any obsidian here, because I really feel like I had some. Maybe I... I'm missing it? Huh, that is so weird. I could have sworn I had some. That is so... Huh. Alright, let's see if we can put some books in here. Oh, what? You can't. I can't even open it. What the heck is the point of this? Boo, that's so lame. Oh, what? Did it just break? It didn't even give it to me. What? What the heck? What is up with that? That is so lame. Wow. I feel very offended right now. Wait, if I make these, can I place stuff on it? Oh, wait. That'll be kind of fun. Let's see. Dude, that bookshelf I just made was such a scam. Like, what the heck, man? Okay, let's see. Does this work? Can I place my books? What? What is the point of this? What is the meaning of this? That's ridiculous. I can't even place any- oh, Man. <sighs> Guess I'll just have to make these. That's what I was gonna do in the first place. Um, oh, we need these boards, which I actually do have some. But it might not be enough. We need six. Okay, so we're gonna have to chop some planks on the stone cutter. Yay, there we go. That was actually really fun. Okay, now we can make some shelves. And I hope these actually work. Um, hello? Dude, don't freaking tell me. <laughs> Why are all these shelves useless? Oh my gosh. This one also doesn't work. I need something to store my freaking books and none of them are working. Holy crap, dude. What is going on? Alright. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to make these. Because I know that these work for sure. Oh, this is... Hmm. Wait, what? How do you... Hmm. Black dye. Oh, I kind of like these, actually. So, if we make a black cabinet, we can make a black shelf cabinet. Which... Wait, do they actually store things? You know what? Let's just try it. Do I have any uh, ink? Yes, we do. So we can make exactly one cabinet, I think. And we need glass bottles for some reason. That's a little random. But I should be able to make some if I have any extra glass. Okay, so we can make some more bottles here. Okay. So we have a cabinet. This one works. However... Does the black show? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use the cabinet. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna test it, or uh, test my luck here because I just need something to store my freaking books. Okay, like that's all. <laughs> it would have been um, nice to use a bookshelf. I thought they would be able to, you know, open 
so you can actually use it. I don't know like if I'm doing it wrong or something, but it's so weird. Alright, so let's go in here, and I do not have any obsidian. So... Oh, you know what? I don't even have enough diamonds to- Dude, I should have just spent them on a freaking pickaxe. I totally regret that. So maybe I can't even make my, uh... My thing today. Damn it. Okay. What can I do? Um, I could trade for more diamonds. That is always something I can do. So maybe I'm gonna have to do a mushroom farming section. Ah, oh, man. I really, really thought I had obsidian. I might be going crazy, though. So, uh, what I could do is go back to the strawberry fields cave, get some more mushrooms, and then just try to get as many diamonds as I can. I'm gonna need full- no, wait. I'm gonna need five. I'm gonna need five diamonds. So we're gonna need to get the, uh, the diamonds three times from the trader. <sighs> I mean, okay, I guess we can do that. I don't really have much of a choice. I'm gonna make these into bookshelves. We can actually make seven bookshelves. It's not bad. Okay, there we go. So, let me get some bone meal. And I guess I'll have to ride off on my uh, airship again. So, since we have our bookshelves, I can also figure out what, what level I want to put my uh, my table at. Um, so let's see. So I feel like this would be a really nice place to put like a library. So maybe I'll move my cabinet downstairs and this can be... Um, actually, no. I can put my, my enchanting table in here. So, it's like... Like this, I think. And then we just need two levels. Or might, it might be one extra here, but we'll see. So, this is where we're gonna put the, uh, the, ta the table. So, we're ne we're need we need more books. But this is gonna be a really nice place to put the enchanting table. And then over here will be the launch pad for the, uh... The airship which we can decorate and down here is where I'm gonna put the library so we can put our shelf or like our little cabinet here for now put all the books away so let me go to the strawberry fields and I'm gonna try to get as many mushrooms as I can Alright guys, I just spent a while collecting all these mushrooms and I almost finished an entire stack of bone meal. I was going to finish the entire stack, but I got really freaking tired. So let's go trade with the mushroom guys again and see if we can get some more diamonds. I really hope we just get, uh, we, we need like two, four, six. So we need three, three little drops of diamonds. Please, I beg you mushroom, mushroom people. Alright, so I'm going to trade with that little white guy inside of the, uh, inside of the house all right so hopefully we get these diamonds if we don't i don't even know what <laughs> what the heck i'm gonna do um but then we can make an enchanting table i think no we need to make a diamond pickaxe and then we need to get obsidian and then we can make an enchanting table i i'm pretty sure there's a lava pool somewhere around here but you know what we can do we can use our airship and we can try to find one through that so that's gonna be pretty awesome okay so i'm gonna use this entire stack and let's see if we can get um, some diamonds. Come on, please. Please give me diamonds. Oh, ender pearls. We're getting some iron, though. Oh, diamonds. Yay. Okay. So we got only one. Oh, come on. I thought they dropped in, in twos. Okay, whatever. Let's just try to get some more. Come on. <gasps> yay. I think that's three total. Oh, yay. Another one. Okay, I'm just going to use up the entire stack. I think we got some more. <gasps> we got seven! Oh my god, yay! Oh my god, thank you so much, mushroom person. Alright, we have seven, that's perfect. So now we can make a diamond pickaxe. And I'm gonna go and actually make it right now. Because I need to find a lava pool. We have a water bucket, so we're all good there. And we got a lot of, um... 
a lot of iron and gold, which I heard that gold is important for the Ars Nouveau mod. So yeah, that's another mod I really got to get into. I want to learn how to make the spells because I know there's a lot of really good spells. Just don't know how to do that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really exciting. I am so excited to do magic in this mod. Um, in the Ars Nouveau mod. Okay, so let's try to find a lava pool. I could have sworn there was one. Oh yeah, look, there's one right there. Okay, perfect. So we don't even need to go that far. And yeah, so we're gonna try to make an enchanting table today. And we need a little bit more bookshelves. Oh my god, that bee. He's so close to the, uh... Oh no! <gasps> oh my gosh! What?! What? Oh wait, no, it's over here. Dude, ah, that scared me. I thought my entire ship just broke. Well, it's right here. Oh my god, that really freaking scared me. What the heck, man? Why did I do that? Is it because I ran into the tree? Man, frick you, tree. Get out of here. You're in my way. You're in my freaking way. You broke my You broke my uh, airship. God damn it. Okay, let me freaking remake it. Alright, we can put this stuff away for now. Um, we don't need the ender pearls or this, and we have a lot of mushrooms now, so. Okay, let's make our airship, place this down. Boop. And the banner. Okay, good as new. <laughs> I was so scared, I thought that it broke. That would have been awful. Okay, so let's put the uh, obsidian here. You know what we can do? We can make another portal over here uh, to the uh, nether so we don't have to go all the way to that cave anymore. Alright, so now I gotta mine just four pieces, right? Alright, we're done. Let me get out of here. I want to go home, make this enchanting table, and start enchanting. I probably should wait until um, I can get all the, uh, what's it called? The um, All the bookshelves and also level 30. Which would be nice, but that's gonna that's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna see what I can get with what we have now. And it's, if it's not good enough, and if there's like a better enchant we can get at a higher level, I'm just gonna wait. But we could at least maybe enchant our armor. Because, um, honestly, no. I feel like the bow is the most important part. Because the bow is like... That's my weapon, man. I need that bow. So if we can get some good enchants on the bow, that'd be really awesome. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. We're probably not going to get this done today, but... Okay. I am parked. Let me out. Let me out of here. Oh, there we go. Okay. At least I didn't suffocate this time. Alright. Um. So now... What do we need? We need a book. And we need my diamonds over here. So let's grab that. And we need one book. I think I spent all of them on the, uh... I hope I didn't spend all of them on the, on the, uh, the bookshelves. Ah, oh, man. I think I did. Okay, you know what? That's fine. We can just make another one. Oh, hello? There we go. That's weird. If I hold paper... Wait, if I hold anything? What? That is bizarre. What the heck? That's so weird. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. Okay, so we need one more... One more, uh, thingy thing, which actually... We can use our little technique here with the bark. So where's my cunning board? It's over here. I'm gonna grab my knife. Oh, what the heck? Oh, different tool. We need an axe. Oh my god, what is going on? Am I lagging? What? Okay, something is freaking broken. What the heck? Oh, what? How do- Okay, what is- What is happening? Let me- Let me try this again. Okay, so this is in the offhand. Put it down. Okay, there we go. I think it just glitched and ate my knife. Okay, so now we should be able to make some paper and another book. Perfect. And now, our enchanting table. Yippee! We have an enchanted table. Let me place this down. And, oh, we need lapis. So let me actually get some. And we can put it in a chest inside of our little our little room. I'm super excited. We're going to need to get a lot of books. 
or bookshelves, I mean, for the um, the library too, because I want to decorate it with a bunch of books. Um, bookshelves, I mean. But there's also a lot of like mods I can use, probably. There was um, this canopy bookshelf, which we could actually make those because it requires... It requires one less book. Um, however, I'm not sure if it works for um, to uh, actually enchant if it increases the level of the enchanting table. So I'm not gonna not gonna spend my bookshelves um, or my books on that for the enchanting table, but it's okay. So here we go. Yippee! We have an enchanting table. This is awesome. Let me see. <gasps> Power two. And you know what? Maybe I should just go for it. I kind of want to just go for it. It's gonna cost me three levels, but I'm gonna do it. <gasps> oh, dude, shoot, that was actually good. I'm breaking two, power two, and punch one. Okay, this is gonna be sick. All right, I, I'm i gonna use this bow to fight the Naga. I think that's actually gonna be good enough for now. Um, in this case, I feel like for the um, for the pants and the chest plate, because I wanna enchant those because they're diamonds, um, I can... Oh, hello, spider. Let me use my new bow. Actually, maybe I should save the durability. I want to be a little bit more careful with it. Um, I'll save it for the things that are actually more dangerous. And for the rest, I'll use my sword. Um, well, should I make a diamond sword now that I have extra diamonds? Hmm. I think I should. Because how many do we have? We have two more. So you know what? Might as well. Might as well make a diamond sword. Because I'm actually going to try to use it... Um, Instead of, okay, you know what, let me finish the sharpness one sword, and then after that we can, uh... Okay, so, what I can do is I'm gonna take Spook with me, and I'm gonna take Peach too. And we're gonna go hunting, um, at night. And just try to get some XP from killing mobs. This could go really wrong. However, I think I have keep inventory on at the moment. Um, so I'm just gonna keep it on. <laughs> so I don't lose my XP. Um, I know that's kind of cheating, but you know what, it's okay. It's gonna be- it's gonna make my life a lot easier, and it's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna try to clear my inventory a little bit, put this extra wood away. We have bombs that I'm not gonna use. I'm retiring these bombs for good. Alright, I'm gonna take a Deceiver's Heart with me, just in case. Just in case. I need it. Alright, let's go take Peach with us and see if we can get some extra XP tonight. This is like my favorite strategy of getting XP is just going out mob hunting at night. I do it all the time in my vanilla world, but obviously <laughs> it's a lot easier because there's no Gaia girls running around like crazy. Um, Alright, let's go a little bit up here. So if something really dangerous comes, we don't explode our house. Because I'm a little bit worried about running into those uh, like pink glowy things. Those are scary. Like... I didn't get attacked by it, but she was chasing me for a very long time. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Oh my god, that was so close. Let's see, can you attack her? Yes! Yes, kill her! Oh my god, what is that? Oh, that's a lot of things. Oh my god, this is not good. <laughs> At least none of, them, none of them can get to me. Okay, Peach... Is doing something, yes. Kill her. Okay, come on. You need to die. <laughs> you need to die. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, she's in the air. She's in the air. Holy crap, okay, I'm eating this. <laughs> Get on my screen now! Oh my gosh! <laughs> holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh, there's a baby zombie coming! Oh my god, that deceiver's heart just saved my life. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she dropped a sword! What the heck? Oh my god, what? <gasps> Cursed metal sword? Oh shoot, it's not as strong as his diamond sword though, so that's kind of lame. Alright, let's go see if that um, Minotaurus girl died. Hey, Peach, why are you over here? Okay, Peach, hello? Okay, there you go. I don't know how she managed to stay. Oh god, okay. I've never seen you before. What the heck? Why are you- why are you that color? Oh my god! Kill her! 
Killer, why do you keep jumping on me? Stop it! Stop jumping! Freaking weirdo! Oh my gosh. Okay, these girls do not die from fall damage. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna shoot her out of the sky. There we go. I feel like I just killed a bird <laughs> from, like, um, killing them in the air. I guess is essentially what it- <gasps> There's a kitty! Where did you come from? Oh my god, there's just a random cat over here. That is so weird. I'm not gonna tame it, though, because I already have two. Uh, alright. Let's go try to- Oh, there's a lot of birds over there. Oh, hey. Get her! Not her. That's a skeleton. <laughs> Kill him! There we go. I guess we wouldn't know if it's a girl skeleton or not, but anyway. There's a lot of birds! Oh my god, they all see me. Holy crap. <laughs> Bird army, no! Get away! Oh my god. Okay, my girls are killing them. Oh my- What? Why are there so many? Oh my goodness, I'm getting knocked around. Oh my goodness! Oh no, my sword broke. Okay, I'm gonna use up this uh, metal sword if it's any good. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's get these. There we go. Two more. Oh wow, you are little B word. Okay, now one more. Come here. Come here, you. Where are you going? Are you running away from me? Huh? You scared? Yeah, thought so. Oh, creeper. Oh my god. Wait. Okay, I didn't want- <laughs> I didn't want my girls to attack him. Okay. Well, let's see. There's some, another creeper over there. Wow, these guys really blend in. They're hard to see. Let's try to kill him. There we go. You know, the sword isn't half bad. So I might as well just use it up. Um, before we use our diamond sword. This guy has an enchanted bow! Ah! Holy crap! <gasps> Dude. Holy crap. <gasps> I thought I was gonna die. Oh no! Peach! I mean spook! God damn it, I'm mixing them all up now. Ah, I need to get out of here! Let me out! Um, water. Dude, I thought I fell into like a... an actual ravine. And I was just about to fall to my death. Luckily there was water. Freaking creepers, man. Ugh. Get out of here, you stupid thing. Hey! Ah! Oh! oh my god, did that hurt you? I really hope that didn't hurt you. What? What the heck is that? What? Okay, this is really weird. Oh man, he blew up all the prettiness. What the heck? What was that noise? Uh, okay, I'm getting a little scared. And the sun is rising, no! Oh man, I kind of wanted to go kill some more mobs. Let me try to fix this really quick, this is gonna bother me. I'm just gonna leave the flowers there because I don't have enough space in my inventory. Oh, okay. Um, there is something over there. Is that a skeleton? That is not- oh wait, yeah, no it is. It's just in a freaking maid outfit. Kill it! There we go. Dude, this bow is actually really OP. Oh, we got a harpy nest! What? That's crazy! What? Wait, what? Is this just decoration? Because that's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, I wonder if we can grow a harpy and, like, have it as our friend. I'm just trying to tame everything. Um, what is that over there? I just saw something walking. Oh, it's just these little guys. The little guys. Okay, you know what? We have 23 XP again. Um, I'm going to enchant my armor. And then we can... We can decorate our Mushroom Girl's home a little bit to end the episode off with something a little bit more chill. Hope this episode is not too long. Um, I know you guys do enjoy the longer episodes, so, but I feel like I did a lot today. Um, Alright, so now we gotta clear our inventory. Ooh, this is fuel. Interesting, I'm gonna put this over here. And gotta clear out my inventory. Okay, so let me see what this harpy nest is. Oh, okay, so is a decoration. Awesome! Okay, I'm gonna put this uh, maybe in the village. Okay, actually, let me open these hat bags. 
baby penguin. And we got an eye patch and a caddy cap. Okay, I'm not gonna wear those. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put on my Kirby hat again because it's really cute. <laughs> Actually, it looks kind of silly with my uh, armor. Okay, I decided to put back my firefly. Um, but now I'm gonna put the harpy nest somewhere in the mushroom village to give it a little bit of decorating. So who would like a nest? Hmm, I feel like Mandragora would want one because she seems like, um, she would want to take care of animals and, like, do farming and stuff. She's, like, she's the nature girl, you know? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her the nest. And let's see, so I'm gonna go to the cluttered mod and see what we can make here. So I want to give at least every girl one decoration for now. And eventually I will replace the homes with the proper colors. Like we can make Man uh, Manjigora's house green and we can make her uh, Dakaria's black and so and so. But for now we're just going to keep it as red. Um, but I want to make this. This is really cute. We need black terracotta, which I don't think I can make. Damn it. Okay, so never mind. Antique sewing machine. <gasps> That's cute. I can make that. Um, okay, I'm actually going to place on a crafting table. And, okay, these spooks are being a little bit loud. <laughs> so come over here and sit down. Okay, I made a sewing machine. Uh, let's see, what else can we make? Ooh, bunny bookends. That's so cute. We can totally make that too. So I'm going to need to chop some more wood. And make ourselves a book. Okay, nice. Let's see, what else? Ooh, this would be perfect for um, sparkle. I'm gonna make that. Alright, so we need white dye. Blue dye, make light blue dye. Planks, glass pane, and a mushroom. Okay, there we go. Ooh, we can make this. Hanging potted vines. So we need flower pot, vines, and string. I think we could get a flower pot from... Alright, we should be able to get a flower pot from the mushroom house. Oh, I took it. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take this one and sacrifice it for my uh, mushroom girls. We can just make another one later. Oh, wait. I thought we needed <laughs> vines. We need grass, but I still have some of that, so we're good. Um, Alright, let's make this. Nice. Oh, this is so cute. We can make this too. I'm learning so many recipes now with this mod, which is awesome. All right, that would be really cute, even in my own house. All right, let's see what else we can make. Oh, look at this. We can make a basket of papers with red wool and paper. Let's go to the village. I'm going to place on what I have so far. I didn't make a bed for you yet. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that. You know what I noticed though? It's been a lot more quiet recently in terms of mob spawning. And I think that's because I, I lit everything up around the area. So less things are spawning, which is really awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna put her on her bed. Come on, go sleep. Are you gonna sleep? Come on, sleep. There we go. Okay, she's 
respawn or she set her spawn point. I'm gonna put a shelf um, here. Can I put this here? Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Okay, wait, I'm gonna move it actually. So it's gonna be a, oh wait, no, not like that. Um, it's gonna be above her bed. Or maybe it can be on the other side. All right, there we go. Her room is looking pretty cute and I'm gonna put, ooh, I'm actually gonna put red carpet in here. Nice, okay, so her her house is looking a little bit nice. And I'm gonna put muffin in here. I placed some wood floors for her and I'm gonna give her a little table with candles. We can light them up. Come on, Muffin, come in here. Get you a nice home. In you go. Ugh, oh, this is so annoying. Muffin, get your butt in there. Okay, awesome. So her house is looking pretty good too. And Sparkles is looking really nice. She has a pretty nice floor as well. So let me push her inside. Everyone get inside your house. It's getting dark. Nice, there we go. And Zellar- Oh, no muffin! God damn it, I didn't sit her down. Oh, thank you muffin, you're being nice and- Nice and- <laughs> Um, cooperative, that's the word. Okay. Let me push Zelda in here. Maybe they would like a red floor too. Actually, you know what? Here, let me replace your floor. Red just makes sense for them, you know? Okay, so Z Zelda on this side, and come on, Zara. Alright, now for Dicaria. So I'm going to give her a purple floor, and I did give her this thing. <laughs> What's it called? The sewing machine? She's been growing some of her ink cap mushrooms here, as you can see. So hopefully she can grow us a big one soon. So I can wear it on my head. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Do I have any other decorations? I don't think so. Alright, so I hope you enjoy your new house, Daikara. And uh, Manjigora has a custom floor already. So we're good. And I think that's everyone. So everyone is now with a nice floor. I think, right? Sparkle, yeah. Okay, good. So the mushroom houses are looking a lot better. Um, we still have a little bit of work to do. Obviously, I want to make this place more nice and safe, of course. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Let me chill out in a... Uh... And mush and muffins home it's kind of cozy in here but yeah thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future and be sure to check out my etsy store if you want to support me and my art and want to buy some cute products i'm selling some stickers that can be delivered to your house by me personally <laughs> all right well thank you all so much for watching once again and i will see you next time